Hi, ever heard about some creatures in our world rocking a third eye? Yep, meet the iguana, one of the proud owners of this unique feature and a bunch of other cool stuff. These guys aren't your average lizards. They're more like something straight out of a fantasy novel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of these critters and delving into their third eye. What's it called, you ask? And what's it even for? Stick around till the end of the video to find out, right here on Earth's Avenue. Now, I know what you're thinking, but aren't iguanas just those small lizard-like critters? Ah, uh, my friends, let me expand your horizons. Meet the green iguana, or scientifically known as Iguana Iguana. These guys are straight out of the jungles of Central and South America. They're like the VIPs of the treetops, chilling in the canopy, soaking up that sweet, sweet sunlight. So, the dudes in this species can get pretty huge, hitting over two meters long and weighing around six kilograms. They're usually rocking this green color with these cool dark bands that make rings on their tail. Now, the ladies, they're a bit smaller and lighter, more of a grayish green vibe, and they're about half the weight of the guys. It's like a whole different fashion statement between them. And let me tell you, these creatures are no one-trick pony. They come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. From browns to grays, but green is their jam. Picture this, elongated bodies, sturdy tails, and heads shaped like a triangle. Talk about a sight to behold. Basically, iguanas are pretty chill with their food choices. They munch on stuff like leaves, buds, flowers, and fruits, especially from fig trees, but they're not picky eaters. Their stomachs are like a mini factory, breaking down all that plant stuff with the help of some bacteria. But hey, when they're young, they're a bit adventurous and snack on invertebrates. And get this, Sometimes they even go for small birds and mammals. So yeah, they're not just about that veggie life. They're ectothermic, which means they rely on external heat sources to regulate their body temperature. Sunbathing isn't just a hobby for them, it's a necessity. And when it's time to get their groove on during mating season, oh boy, do they pull out all the stops. When it's raining, Male iguanas get a bit protective of their turf, and that's when mating pairs get together. Once the rainy season wraps up, it's egg-laying time. They lay these clutches of eggs, like 30 or 50 of them, right into the ground when the early dry season kicks in. After about 70 to 105 days, these little hatchlings, only about 3 inches long, come out into the world. But they're not exactly safe yet. There are predators lurking around, like coatis and other critters that'll gobble them up if they get the chance. Tough start for these little guys, huh? But don't let their landlubber reputation fool you. These critters are skilled swimmers too. And when danger lurks, they're not afraid to take a dip to escape the heat. Throughout history, people have been chowing down on adult iguanas, making them part of their meals for thousands of years. But here's the thing, all this hunting and losing their homes is putting them in a tight spot, especially in rural spots where they're a big deal as a protein source. It's like they're caught between being dinner and disappearing altogether. Tough break for these reptiles. At last, let's talk about their third eye, also known as the parietal eye. It's basically a light sensitive spot chilling on the top of their heads. Now. It's not like a full-on eye you'd expect, but more of a connection to their pineal gland. This funky little organ helps iguanas pick up on changes between light and dark, and it's also got a hand in keeping their internal clock ticking right and influencing behaviors like sunbathing. It's one of those cool quirks you find in some reptiles that gives them a unique way of seeing the world. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows for our scaly friends. They face threats from habitat loss, hunting, and becoming prey to other animals. Some are even teetering on the brink of extinction. That's why it's up to us to step up and lend a helping hand. Whether it's safeguarding their habitats or spreading awareness, people worldwide are rallying to keep these mini Godzillas safe and sound. 
The next time you see an iguana basking in the sun or doing its funky mating dance, remember, they're not just fascinating creatures, they're an integral part of our ecosystems and cultures. And it's up to each and every one of us to ensure their survival. Until next time, stay wild, my friends.